so as you can see now it has completed the formatting of the phone that means all your partition all your data has been gone only the data you backed up will let you have the device in working condition so now it is showing me a option to now flash a new rom press any key to continue i turn somewhere and it is giving me an option to navigate through the available options i am selecting the go back i'll install a zip file choose a zip file from sd card 1 now it is checking my sd card for the available zip files you can simply drag and select a zip file you want to flash let me remind you again this is a cm10 based cyanogen mod 10 based rom and somebody has published it notoriously by saying it is a cm11 rom it was not a cm11 rom it is calculating the checksum and it is calculating the md5 sum if you want to verify it it will show you and you can tally it with the file you have downloaded so it makes sure that uh, your file is intact and is not corrupted if this checksum value matches the value published by the guy who uploaded this rom this should exactly match to the original file so now i am going to proceed with the installation itself you can see i have touched the proceed option and this is showing me the update while it updates the rom in this phone and uh, the progress bar is still on very primary stage so let me pause this video and get back to you once i can have a noticeable progress you can see the no you can see the blue bar has started and uh, complete in just a couple of seconds now it has completed the install now you have to go back and one thing you should know that this this cm10 based rom does not have the google apps or gaps google application will not be installed so before you install it you should always first boot the device first go to your home screen then reboot the device again to the recovery options and then flash the gaps there are two versions of gaps you can flash any of them i'll put a link in description as usual and now i'll just go and wipe the cache partition i'll wipe the dalvik cache dalvik cache has been wiped now i'll wipe the cache partition this is a must for having correctly working phone formatting cache and formatting dalvik cache has been completed now it's time for the first reboot after the rom flashing So let's see how it goes. As you can see, Shansin based logo has come up because this is not an official Xiaomi based ROM, and you can see the Cyanogen mod boot screen. Cyanogen mod is a ROM which has the very best available in Android world. So I'll highly recommend you if you don't like MIUI, this is the option you should be going for. Cyanogen-based ROMs are the perfect ROM for day-to-day -day use, and this gives you a very good battery backup. Also, it is a refined form of Android, which has been developed by Cyanogen Mod people, and they have a very frequent update cycle. Most of the ROMs get their night. updates that is called nighties and for the first boot it may take a couple of minutes make sure i am repeating it again you don't have to panic you don't have to pull out the battery if you take out the battery your phone is gone now you can see the phone has come up right to the home screen but i can notice the language is not yet english so i'll have to go and hunt for the language option in this thing so upon struggling with this different language based rom uh, i found this idioma y entrade de texto so this means to language and i i found it this is a spanish language selected by default so you have to come into this option then you have to select 
idioma and then you have to select english as a united kingdom or english as per united states so let's go with the united states and the interface is now in english so this is how you install this rom onto the phone and you can see uh, now the menu is much more user friendly because we have a uh, english based interface and the phone is very snappy when i'm using it for the first time currently i don't have any application or even the google account logged in into this device but still i can certainly say this is a good rom because initial impressions are very good which i am seeing on this uh, interface of cm and uh, on the settings if you go to the storage you see default write disk can be selected as a phone or sd card as per your wish if you go to the about phone it shows you that cm11 version 1.1 uh, which i highly doubt at the moment because to my best of knowledge cm11 was in KitKat based ROM and this phone is not capable of running a KitKat based ROM. So now let me click on the build number and uh, become a developer. Now we have the developer options. I have an uh, it has already enabled the USB debugging options. You can also select the allow mock locations, which many applications will work better when you select it. Access your locations. So this is the primary way of installing this ROM. This ROM came up with the NOVA launcher and it get, gives you an option to import data from your another launcher which I have. So you can delete these shortcuts. It is a purely AOSP based interface. So you don't need to learn any new tricks while you operate on this and this rom indeed came with a expose installer which will certainly multiply your android experience and you will love to have it on your phone because expose module will get you all the advanced features which you want to customize or use like you can bring the clock in the center of the screen and so on. Exposed installer has been installed and the phone has been rebooted for this to become active. So before, so before I run any extensive tests on this ROM, let me tell you this ROM comes pre-rooted and you don't have to struggle to root it. This also comes with a torch application which looks like a stock Android 4.22 based AOSP based torch and the icon for the phone dialer is taken from the KitKat so this looks like a very basic ROM but still it is very smooth ROM because you get a lot of free memory and the snappiness has gone multifold and increased a lot I can see the phone is performing very well it is almost working around twice the speed I was getting in the MIUI based interface. 1.6 GB of RAM is available for the phone so your games are gonna run very very smooth.